Relationships can be fulfilling explorations of two people's deeper character. Support, love, and measured optimism give you a feeling of completion, of contentness. There's a warm feeling in both parties. Sometimes, just sometimes, that feeling gets a little fuzzy. But relationships can be hard, too. Often the hardest thing we've ever had to do, and the only choice is to cut it off. I'm Dr. Stanley Haverford, New York Times best-selling author of Cupid is Stupid, and I'm here to help you lance the boil that is your cheap imitation of a boyfriend. Get yourself a map. There's a lot of area out there, and you're going to have to narrow down your choices. Knowledge of local landmarks, buildings, the general area is very important. Look at things like crowd size, cell phone reception, available transportation, possible escape routes, wind speed and direction, overall cleanliness, building height, local plants, local animals, and most important of all, the terrain. Communicate your feelings efficiently. Use concise, dense sentences with clear, unmistakable messages. A miscommunication here could mean you'll need to invest close to an hour on unnecessary explanations. Don't get flustered, and most of all, maintain control of the conversation. A few good lines are, it's not you, it's me. I just need some space. And I hope that we can still be friends. He'll likely be incapable of a response at this point, so don't waste your time waiting around for one. Once your ex gathers his wits, he will come looking for closure. It is immensely important that you not give it to him. He will be persistent, and your work will be hard, but gaping emotional wounds are his problem, not yours. Make sure they stay that way. I love those dear hearts and gentle people. Get out there and explore the world. It's huge. It's massive. There's so much of it you haven't seen. There's cliffs to climb and, and oceans to swim in, and you're free to do any of it. Do you see how happy this girl is? She's over there killing it look at that free spirit go and who knows you might even meet somebody better while you're over there i've got a dream house i'll build there one day with picket fence and rambling road i feel so welcome each time that i return that my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown